The last couple of years have been quite eventful in the sphere of space exploration, genetics, geology, and other fields of science. Researchers working in different parts of the world have made some remarkable discoveries that have helped broaden the horizons of human knowledge. On one hand, a NASA probe has reached the Kuiper Belt in space, and on the other hand, Chinese scientists have been able to successfully clone primates. It seems that we are heading towards an era of unimaginable scientific progress. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five recent discoveries. Scientists announce a new form of DNA, named Hachimoji DNA. DNA, which is the building block of life, consists of four nucleotides. Each nucleotide contains a letter labeled base, and these nucleotides are arranged in a double helix structure. The four letters or bases of DNA form pairs, and the arrangement of these pairs creates the genetic instructions. Since the identification of the structure of DNA in 1953, Researchers had wondered if it was possible for a DNA with different structure and different number of pairs to be able to give birth to life. In February 2019, researchers were finally able to expand the genetic alphabet and create a synthetic DNA with eight letters instead of four. This synthetic DNA is known as Hachimoji DNA. Researchers believe that the creation of this advanced DNA has opened many new possibilities for medical research and it can potentially enhance data storage capabilities. The interdisciplinary team of scientists worked under Steve Benner, who is a synthetic biologist. They made the synthetic DNA from scratch. This synthetic DNA with custom programming can provide the instructions that don't exist in nature. For now, scientists have only used synthetic DNA for novel purposes, such as creating new perfume scents. But in the near future, they plan to use the Hachimoji DNA for different medical purposes. One of the potential medical uses of this new DNA can be creating an enzyme that could break down gluten and provide treatment for celiac disease. According to a press release issued by NASA, which was one of the organizations funding the study, the creation of Hachimoji DNA has opened new possibilities in the search for extraterrestrial life. This discovery has led the scientists to now believe that it is possible for extraterrestrial life to have entirely different building blocks than that of life on Earth. NASA dates oldest rocks on Earth In January 2019, scientists identified Earth's largest known rocks. Remarkably, these rocks were not discovered here on Earth. Instead, they were found on the Moon. About 48 years ago, during the Apollo 14 moon mission, astronauts collected a number of rocks on the surface of the moon. These rocks were brought to Earth. Researchers had been studying the rocks for decades. Finally, in January 2019, geologists concluded that they traced the origins of one of the rocks to about 20 kilometers beneath the surface of Earth. During the recent study, Researchers have found that a 2-gram fragment of the rock was hurled into space as a result of a huge asteroid strike. The event took place about 4 billion years ago. Researchers believe that at that time, the Moon was revolving around the Earth about three times closer than it is today. Since then, it has been moving away from Earth at a very slow pace. Even today, the Moon is drifting away from Earth at a rate of approximately 1.5 inches every year. The discovered rock fragment is composed of feldspar, zircon, and quartz. These elements are rare on the moon, but they are very common here on Earth. Some researchers who were a part of the study team have stressed that the theory of how the rock fragment from Earth got to the moon is not 100% conclusive, and there could be other possibilities as well. Regardless, it is one of the most mind-blowing recent discoveries, and researchers believe that in the coming years, we will be able to learn more about the surface of the Moon, and we might just be able to find more rocks originated from Earth, as a result of the planned Moon missions of various space agencies. The discovery of a 4 billion year old rock is quite astonishing, considering the fact that Earth itself is estimated to be around 4.54 billion years old. Zong Zong and Hua Hua Cloning has been a subject of great controversy due to its potential implications on intelligent life. 
One of the most significant breakthroughs in the field of cloning was made in 1996, when scientists cloned a sheep named Dolly. Since then, cloning has come a long way and researchers in different parts of the world have been working on perfecting the various cloning techniques. A significant breakthrough was made in the last couple of months of 2017, when a group of scientists used the somatic cell nuclear transfer to clone primates. This is the same technique that was used for cloning Dolly the sheep. Named Zong Zong and Hua Hua, monkeys belonging to the Macaca fascicularis species were the first primates to have ever been cloned using somatic cell nuclear transfer. Unlike the previous attempts of cloning monkeys, researchers used the nuclei from the fetal cells instead of the embryonic cells. Zong Zong was born on 27th of November 2017 and Hua Hua was born on the 5th of December 2017. Both primates were cloned at the Institute of Neuroscience of the Chinese Academy of Sciences situated in Shanghai. Before the successful cloning of Zong Zong and Hua Hua, several attempts had been made in different parts of the world to use somatic cell nuclear transfer for cloning primates. However, these attempts failed as the embryos could not mature into healthy animals. According to Mu Ming Pu, one of the leading scientists at the Institute of Neuroscience, this time the researchers used better microscopy to observe and handle the cells. They also used several compounds to encourage the reprogramming of cells. Although the researchers were able to clone Zong Zong and Hua Hua, the overall success rate was very low even after using these advanced techniques. Only two healthy babies were born out of 60 surrogate mothers. Researchers believe that the perfection of this technique could potentially lead to better understanding and treatment of diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's in humans. Four eight six nine five eight Arakov. On the 12th of November 2019, researchers officially named the distant object 2014 MU69 as Arakov. The new name means sky in Powhatan, a language spoken by the Powhatan people of Tidewater, Virginia. Arakoth is the most distant object ever explored by a spacecraft. It was discovered on the 26th of June 2014 by the Hubble Space Telescope. Then, on the 1st of January 2019, the New Horizons space probe performed a successful flyby close to this distant object. Previously, Arakoth was nicknamed Ultima Thule. The object is floating amongst the different asteroids, comets, and icy rocks in the Kuiper Belt, which is the region of the solar system beyond the eight major planets. The inner edge of the Kuiper Belt is estimated to be about 30 astronomical units from the Sun, and its outer edge is estimated to be at a distance of 50 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is equal to the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is approximately 150 million kilometers. Arakoth is classified as a cold classical Kuiper Belt object. During the flyby, the New Horizons space probe flew past Arakoth at a distance of only 2,000 miles. Earlier, the space probe performed a flyby over Pluto as well. However, its distance from Pluto was around 5,800 miles. Therefore, the space probe was able to provide more detailed photographs of Arakoth as compared to Pluto. NASA released the photographs of Arakoth after the successful flyby in January 2019. The photos revealed the distant object having a snowman-like shape. It is composed of two lobes that have roughly spherical shapes. These lobes are tightly joined at the neck, and according to researchers, the surface at this part shines much more brightly as compared to other parts of the object. Arakoth is about 21 miles in length. Mars Opportunity Rover has ended its mission. The Mars Rover Opportunity finally ended its mission on the 13th of February 2019. The NASA robot that was equipped with different tools for geological research on Mars was initially thought to last only 90 days. However, it exceeded expectations and served for more than 14 years. Opportunity, which is nicknamed OPI, was launched on the 7th of July 2003 and it reached the surface of Mars in January 2004. Researchers had lost contact with the rover in the middle of 2018, and finally, in February 2019, they officially announced the end of a remarkable Mars mission. Over the course of its mission, Opportunity sent hundreds of thousands of photographs that helped scientists understand the surface of Mars. 
The rover roamed more than 28 miles on the surface of Mars and survived for more than 5,000 Martian days. One Martian day is about 39 minutes longer than a day on Earth. Researchers believe that Opportunity might have died as a result of a global dust storm on the surface of Mars in May 2018. Another Mars rover named Spirit was also launched around the same time as Opportunity. However, scientists lost contact with Spirit much earlier in 2011. Researchers believe that the payoff has been tremendously greater than anything that they had imagined at the launch of the two rovers. Jim Bridenstine, a NASA administrator, believes that the knowledge gained through Opportunity and Spirit missions will tremendously help in the planning of manned space missions to Mars in the future. But what do you think of these five amazing recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.